Why can't they win it under Solskjaer? Is it irrelevant of the personnel they've got there? Yes, it's irrelevant of the personnel that they've got there because I just don't think the manager is good enough to to win them a title. So if you're talking so, about next season, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying you know if they if they stick with him and uh, you know you get four or five years down the line, then if they want to wait that long to win a trophy, then by that time you might have the experience of getting it done. But in my opinion, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer just isn't the right man to win the title. He's the right man to be at Manchester United now in terms of where they're going and the direction of progressing slowly. Yeah. But if they wanted to win the title next season, they ain't going to do it with him in okay. charge. Would you agree that United are getting better and better from where they've been? So for yes. argument's sake, they got to the final of the Europa League and second, and they second lost. place. They did, and of course, that is not good enough for Manchester United. Not but, good enough. But the reason I'm using those stats is to prove a point. They are get, getting better. Well, they lost four semi-finals or the, the three semi-finals the season yeah. before. Yeah. And then they but lost you, the semi-final last season and lost the final. Yeah, that's right. But It's Manchester United we're talking about. No, I know, but what I'm saying, I'm, my question is, are United getting better? Is my They've point. improved. Right. Because they're, they're, they're signing good players. Okay, where would you say their weaknesses are before any players come in this season? On the field. On the field, uh, right centre-half. Okay, so they might be sorting that with Ran. Yeah, right? um, I think they need a uh, right winger, Sancho. Okay, so they might be sorting that with Sancho. Two centre midfield players, not good enough. Two? To replace who? Fred and McTominay. Right, okay. I like McTominay. I think he's a very good player. I really like him. Yeah. But if you're, t- if you're talking of the players that win your titles when, and what Manchester United have those years with Keane and Scholes and yeah. Carrick, midfield's not good enough. Um, and they need a number nine. Okay, so if they were bringing in... Cavani can't play every game next season. No, but Mason Greenwood, if they're bringing in Sancho, will be playing the games that Cavani can't play. Mason Greenwood ain't win, good enough to win the league. No, I, I didn't say he'd be playing all the games. I said he'd be playing the games that Cavani can't play. It's, uh, but still not good enough to win the league. What, Mason Greenwood? N- no, if you played him as oh, your number nine up front, he's not going to win you the league. Incredibly talented. Unbelievably talented. Still yeah. too young. Yeah. Too young, in my opinion. Why, to what's carry Manchester. got to do with it? Well, because his experience and know-how. Look at Cavani with the way he plays. And the problem with him is, is he's too he's over the other side of it where he can't play every week. Mason Greenwood is the side of it where, you know, he, he hasn't got the experience. If, you've got of, a pool, if United have got a pool of, for argument's sake, to play up front, Cavani, Greenwood and Rashford, that's not a good enough pool of three players. No. That's not a pool of good enough players. It's not. It's not good enough to win the league. But, but Man City saying, won but Rashford off the left Man City Cavani won the league front. without a number nine now I've given you three that United have got and none of them yeah, are good but look at the players that they had they had Kevin De Bruyne who can play up front I know but, they, but you're saying that United don't have a number nine good enough and I'm proving that the league can be won without no, one no I'm not saying that they don't because I love Cavani and I think it's been a brilliant signing the problem right. you're going to have is that he can't play every week and they need another player who's going to come in and, and okay, if they take get that the number player, nine if they get that player let's just say Harry Kane comes in Right? Yes. Can they do it then? Can they win no. the league? No, I don't think they can because I just don't think so Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is the manager that gets it done. So that all the weak, weak areas that you've suggested, they've plugged, but they still can't do it? No. Can't do it. I find that amazing you think that. They can't do it. Because the manager's not the manager, in my opinion, is just not good enough to get it over the Let's line. Let's speak to Simon. He's a Man United fan. 08717 You can dial that number. Hello, Simon. How are you doing? I'm good, Simon. Tell him why he's wrong. I think you're wrong, Jamie, because uh, I think this third year that with Solskjaer go, he's going to make that leap. He's, he's going to improve. He knows the mistakes he's been making, you know, in his in-game management. With You know, we go back a couple of years where he had Fred on a yellow card and he yeah. then got a red card after half-time and everyone knew he should have been taken off and making substitutions too late and, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, the subs, like, in the, in the final, in the semi-finals last season, and they were just so they... poor, and the way they did it, they're just, you know, like, top managers don't make them mistakes. They, they don't, but he will improve. He, he knows that. Solskjaer's not the guy that, that's going to be blind to that, and he's got good people around him that will be, you know, that will, that will be guiding him, and, and, and he'll, he'll know that. I think next year, this third year, with the players that they're going to bring in, and, and obviously we know that Sancho's there, but with Varane possibly coming in at Trippier, and I do, I, I've got to. I've got is to Sancho say, better than Riyad Mahrez? Is Sancho's be- oh, is Sancho from, better? From, yeah. from what I, yeah, from is what Sancho I hear, better than Phil yes. Foden? Yes. Yeah. What? Well, if you look at assists and goals he scored in the Bundesliga last season, speak to Kevin Atchard, our German football expert, he'll tell you he is. You, you don't think so? No, don't think so. 
Have you seen, have you seen much got... of him play in the Bundesliga? Is Kieran Trippier better than Carl Walker? Why are you calling him Trippier? I had this debate the other day on the show. Why do people call him Trippier? I don't know. Whatever. Trippier. Trippier. Yeah, Is cool. he better than Carl Walker? Um, no. Okay. Is Varane better than John Stones? Yeah, but you know like for like. Is Varane better than John Stones? Yes. No, he's not. Oh, shut up. He's absolutely What are you talking not? about? Oh, you're talking rubbish. John Stones is unbelievable. He's had a great well, he, season. No, he had a he, good... He, hold on. He had a good ha- bottom half of season. So what I'm telling so, you is... Hold on, hold on. John Manchester Stones City's is better team. than... No matter who you bring in, he still ain't as good as Manchester City. John Stones is better than Varane. Are you mad? He is, absolutely. But... Sorry, I'm... I'm not. I mean, I'll be honest. I've not seen Varane do step overs in his own box I, and lose the ball. I don't think you've watched Varane at all. If I'm honest with you, I've spoken to enough people. I don't watch it. A no, lot no, of... no. Have you watched Varane all last season? No, guarantee. Have, have you? Yes, I watched uh, enough of him. How much did you watch of him in live I, I, games? I watched a lot. Are you so I watched, did. I did. I watched so John Stones. Going, yeah, I watched John Stones. And the second half of the season, he was very good. No, First half of the season, he wasn't that great. They're, they're, Even Pep didn't made fancy my him. point. Sancho's not better than Foden. Well, he, well I think he is. isn't better than Walker. Yeah, but you know he's not man isn't for better man. than John Stones. You know he's not man for man. You know that. But you're talking about signings that they're bringing in. They've got a, they've got to get better than Manchester yeah, City. But you know, you know, it's, I mean, Leicester, prime example. You know, you can go man for man through oh, the Leicester side. What you go on about is Leicester winning it seven years ago. What are you going on about? Leicester are oh. not going to win the Premier League again. I told you he was in a bad mood today. Didn't I tell you he's in a bad mood? They're not going to win the Premier League again. Manche- okay, okay, You've right, got okay. to get right, better hold, hold on, hold than on. Manchester right. City. And you're not. C- right, can Chelsea win the league this season? Yes. Right, man for man, are they better than Man City? No. Whoa. So that argument doesn't... Oh, of course they're not. Wait. Is that a goalkeeper is better it, than City's? Are they centre better than they, City's? They play a different formation. Okay, name a better player in the Chelsea team than Man City's. They play a different formation. Na- name a better Chelsea player than Man City. A better player in Chelsea's team? Yeah, in, um, in a position. In a position, hold on. Oh, you, you put me on the spot here oh, because I'm time. trying to think. Put Thirty seconds on there. Jorginho. Um, G- why did you help him out there? Why Georg- did you do that? Jorginho. Okay, one. I'll give you one. Um, and then you've got. I'll give you one. Um, one. Oh, it's See if we can get to two. Pulisic. Better than. Better than Sterling. <laughs> I don't think so. No, he is. No, he's not. Where are you getting these from? Even you smiled there. You don't believe. Look at your face. Even you don't believe that. No, but listen. Here's the big difference between <laughs> right. oh, so, Chelsea. So it's all right for Chelsea not no, to match no. up. It is because Chelsea have got yeah. Thomas Tuchel as their manager. Right. So that's it. Yeah, but so, so your deal. argument of matching up players doesn't stand up no, if it's down to the manager. I'm talking about Manchester United. If you're talking about Manchester United and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, they need to imp- that because well, why Ole are you Solskjaer matching players up? Tell me what the reason because for matching the players manager up. at Manchester United isn't good enough. So the players are going to have to get it done. They've got to be better than Manchester. City. Chelsea have got a great manager. So Chelsea, you can get it done because they've got yeah, the but manager. But my point is, what's the reason for doing like for like on the players if it's only down to the manager? Because you're talking about new signings and coming in and talking about all these great... Oh, we're signing John him, we're Stone's signing him. Better than we're signing, he is. John Stone's better than Varane. He is. John Stone's you're, better than you're Varane. You're the only person that thinks that on this planet, apart from City fans. The only person. I'd love to hear other people say that. 